sit by the fire and hear the tale of five steadfast adventurers as they explore the mysterious isles of Dark Tour. Join, join us, us on the Swordcast Adventures. We are here in the protection of Father Oak, a great floating tree. We meet with the truth on the wind. The Telkasir would find their home quite lovely. We are introduced to a hidden oracle, a storm giant named Novir. This oracle gives us visions of the past. Me and my comrades, we each look through the eyes of some mighty warrior. Arthum Avorius, a human holy man. Flair, a Janazi monk. Bells, a tabaxi bard who talks more than, well, anyone. Breath, Shade Bloom, a Tel Kassir fighter. And Yorag Duskhand, a dwarven arcanist with whom I am seeing. We are in a tavern, in a city where a chill has come. The world is locked in a dread cold. We head out to the docks and to our destined fight. However, upon nearing the shore, out comes a fell monster, unlike anything, with extremities of shapes and sizes from the water. The morning was very pleasant. You, prep, you prepared yourself, you had breakfast, you interacted with the community around you. And as you were going towards... As heroes do. As heroes do. As you were going towards uh, the water to board your ship that you had chartered, an odd rumbling came. And things exploded. As this amalgam creature of blue, chitinous carapace and ruddy, just muddled flesh rose from the sea, destroying the ship, the dock, and most everyone around it. This thing screeched and roared as it rose from the waters and began its charge as screams echoed and people clamored. The five heroes stood, readying themselves. Let's go over the spells you cast one more time. Uh, Bells cast Holy Weapon on the Fists of Flame. Flare. 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 Flare, that's right. The Flaming Fists of, fists of Flare. So they are, now, they are now just glowing with a bright white aura. Holy hands. <laughs> Yorick, are you doing anything? Oh, God, that's my name. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I cast uh, just dancing lights to illuminate the area. A oh yeah, bit. that's right. You cast dancing lights mm-hmm. along the edge to make, sh- which allowed you a good vision of this creature. Which at the twilight that everything is at mm-hmm. was definitely a little harder. Mm-hmm. Uh, flare, you had holy weapon cast upon you. Uh, yeah. Other than that, flare just takes battle stance and gets ready to fuck some shit up. Got it. Steal your jaw. <laughs> we move over to Wraith. Wraith summons an Eldritch Ward, protecting his body by casting protection from evil and good. Uh, naming aberrations. Yes. <laughs> Praise it. Praise it. And as we move to what our... I am... As our Thum watches this creature rise out of the water... There it is. He holds his Mace of Dirup- Disruption up and says, by the light of Lathander, and casts Holy Aura on the party, um, wow. which Divine Light washes out from you and coalesces in a soft radiance, blah, 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 uh, creatures of your choice, um, shed a dim light in a five foot radius and have advantage in all saving throws. Um, oh other creatures God. have disadvantage on attack rolls against them until the spell ends. 
And in addition, when a fiend or undead hits an affected creature with a melee attack, the aura flashes with a brilliant light. The attacker must succeed on a constitution saving throw or be blinded until the spell ends. All right, all right. Big guns. Yeah. Big guns. I'm pulling out the big guns right now. <laughs> because that's what our thing would do. Absolutely. And as you all stand there, you know, you need to shut the fuck up too, Catlett. I turned you down. One sec, guys. As our theme, or as the monster stood there, as you all readied yourself, as everyone around you began running and screaming from this aberrant creature, you notice it rise on its thick, trunk-like legs, leaving the bottom of it above the water just enough to see what could only be offered as gills or slits within its meat, within its body itself, they flare open as though breathing. But instead of breath, instead of receding, closing, it exhales. And this black smoke pours over the top of the water, across the broken wreckage of ships and dock, and across the individuals still scrambling away. You all hear screams, pained and horrified, as everyone caught in it collapses and starts to writhe. And we know that, this to be their their breath that you know you corrupts. all know of that breath. Yeah, okay. And we have some magic things that protect us. Yes, uh, York and Bells. No one has stated they put it on though. Well, we didn't really. But they know of it. You know of it. Okay. So you see this happen. Well, that well, you didn't really describe what they are. So how would we know to put them on? Sure. So they're no, I did. They're respirators. They're basically magical respirators. It was not clear to me Sorry. that that's what they were. I would have put that on as my pre-combat action if I had that's this fine. was that. Okay. Oh, yeah. If we know what this shit's up, I'm sure that we'll do it once it's... Is but, it, but you only have two, right? No. You, no, we, we each have one. Them. Oh, yeah. That's I mean, what you are going to put on your gas mask. Up for. Okay. But as that okay. happens, the fog begins to roll farther and farther and catches you all in it. Yorig, as your one thing, you feel the fog go over you and are able to breathe, everyone else must make a constitution saving throw. Does your aura do anything for us on that? Yeah, we have uh, advantage. Yeah, we have advantage on all saving throws. Um, that's perfect. Time for a natural 20. <laughs> 13. Hold your breath. Thirteen? Mm-hmm. Twenty-two. Flare gun at twenty-one. Arthum, you feel the cold enter into you. The rest of you all hold your breath and notice. Arthum is holding up his mace of disruption, and as he does, he doesn't notice the blanket of fog eke over you. And you look down to see it flow, and you... <gasps> and you feel the cold wrap inside of you, you gain two levels of Father's Frost. What does that mean? At the moment, it doesn't seem to mean anything. <laughs> That's dumb, but okay. <laughs> God damn it. Agreed. All right. Well, that's fine. There's another factor, though. As the cold doesn't blanches matter. over you all, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I don't care. It doesn't matter. Don't care anymore. Well, I'm done with this. Way. I don't care. What happens? Oh, uh, one more thing. <laughs> hey, you all got to do something. So does it. I just realized that Everyone I take takes. On my throw. Hang on. Oh, you had advantage. Was worse. Still Was have two worse. points. Okay. Two points and 28 points of cold damage. The rest of you take 14. Is that a... I take seven. Is that a spell? 
No, it's an ability. Okay. All right, so I take 20 points of cold damage. Um... And it seems to come out in a cube all around the creature. And in a moment later, you notice the creature breathe it back in. All right, I'm assuming after all concentration for my holy aura, then. Guess so. Um, how does that work again? How much damage you take? Twenty-eight. Uh, 28. So fourteen is your 14. DC. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so just a D twenty plus my uh, spell casting. It's a Constitution save. Just Constitution save. Ugh. Okay. That you have advantage on because of holy aura. Oh, true. <laughs> Uh, I make it. Oh, yeah, you do. Excellent. I have to roll for my spell, which I make handily. Is holy? I think holy weapons concentration also. Oh, okay. That's right, it is. So I have to beat a 7? You have to beat a 10, and you also have advantage. Natural 1. Advantage. advantage. Oh, thank God. Oh, that makes it. Good. So, good. Thank God. The DM <laughs> like breathed one in rounded with because weapon, he didn't plan on ruining all your preparations. He just needs you all to see this. No, no, that's fine. That's I, I think it's perfectly acceptable. <laughs> Not gonna lie. DM takes a deep breath. Okay. Now, as we were going, everybody roll initiative. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> oh, ball sack. Well, no! Six for our Thum. Eight for your egg. Twenty-three for Bells. Flair with the crazy high dexterity got an eight. So one sec. Sorry. Fuck. Uh, let's do your egg. What eight. Do you get? Uh, eight? No, sorry. I was um, seven. Seven. No, it is eight. I'm sorry. New uh, character. God damn it. New character who dis. Bells. Uh, 23? No, hold on. That's a lie. 22. God, you guys. <laughs> New character who dis. Yeah, yeah. 22. Colin, when you, when you start a new character at 15th level whose mechanics you're not used to yet, there's a little bit of a learning curve. Okay. A little bit. Uh, Flair. What you got? Uh, you said eight. Eight. Wraith. Nineteen. And our tomb? Six. Ooh. Yeah, there's that. How deep is the water standing in? Uh, the water it's standing in from there is about, I would say, 15 feet to the bottom. Oh, man. Okay. Now, how far away from us is it? 40 feet. 20 feet till dry land, 20 more feet to you guys. Okay. Okay, so it can't. One, one round of movement for a thing that large? Got it. Got it. Uh, that brings it to the top of the round, which... Joe, elf guy. We got bells going up first. Bells, you see this just barrel over everyone. And uh, you see all these people drop, just fall. All these, the common folk around you just start falling and writhing on the ground. And it, then you see that creature just standing there, claws and tentacles out, readying. It's swooping its large kind of craned head around, left and right, kind of looking over. It's multiple eyes shining in the slight dim twilight. How far from us is it? 40 feet. How big is this thing? Because it was tossing Very... ships. Yes. It's it's between 22 and like 25 feet. Could somebody stand on it? Yeah. It's huge. Okay. It's very wide too. Okay. Um, gas mask, is that a free action? action? Absolutely. Cool. Gas mask is a thing first and I imagine we made these to where we can talk. Yes. To a degree. Yeah, uh, it wouldn't be communication, but it, it would be able to talk through it. Okay. Uh, so it's only 40 feet away. Um, cool. We can work with that. Uh, hold on. Sorry, I'm looking up. How dare you? My teammates' names. <laughs> That's a good plan. Sorry. It's, uh... My name is Arthum. I know your name. 
Uh, was it Flare? Yep. Okay. Uh, you like reach out and say, Flare, do you remember the time with the ancient black dragon? Same idea. And I grab Flare's hand and I cast Dimension Door and we both teleport on top of this. <laughs> Fuck yes. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Boom. <laughs> Hell yeah. All about it. Yep. <laughs> this is going to be sweet. Uh, and at that point, I will also uh, provide Flair with a Bardic Inspiration. Woohoo! Because that is a bonus action that we can do as Bards. Which, okay. in my case, <laughs> which would be it actually be a uh, D12, a D12 at this point. Cool. And I sing, uh, <laughs> Oh, Cord, won't you find me? A new lady friend. This one don't like furries. I don't understand. Oh my god, thank you so much. Uh, uh, <laughs> no regrets. <laughs> Not a one. Oh, poor. Okay. And that's the end of your turn? That's the end of my turn. We are now on top of this creature. At the end of your turn, mm-hmm. as you... Uh, as you sun, you see the head kind of crane around and whip down. The three oddly shaped eyes, all different sizes, all this almost just shine kind of goes over them as it centers in on you. You don't actually get any form of iris or pupil. It's just this pure, almost purple. But you see it spin in its socket and move towards you. And then you it takes a legendary action and whips a tentacle up towards you. Sounds about right. Yup. This is a dumb idea when I Look did it. Look out for the tentacle. Uh, wait, and this is towards bells. Yes. Um. Are they, wait? Is that within? It's they are forty feet away from you. Forty feet. Okay, never mind. I can't do it. Okay. Probably more because we're up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I'm looking at a seventeen to hit you. That is one above my armor class. Uh, oh. It's okay. These things happen. It's true. You take a total of 21 points of bludgeoning damage as you feel the tentacle wrap around you and hold tight. You are now grappled. Do I still have that fun little aura on me, or do I have to be close to you to get that? Our cleric. Mm. Oh, uh... The holy aura. No, I think I just want to cast it. You have to be a certain amount of feet within within okay. my radius, but once it's cast, it's fine. All right. Let me double check, but I think that's the way it works. Um. Yeah. No. It, it's yeah. I think you can move in and out of that radius after that. That is, I, I made my save with a uh, seventeen, so the holy weapon still stands. Dope. Okay. Uh, then it goes down to Wraith. You saw them do this. You saw, you heard the call out um, between Bells and Flare. You saw Bells grab on and teleport them from one to the other using Dimension Door. And then you heard as Bell's song rings out over the actual sea itself, you saw a tentacle wrap around them. Your turn, by the way. Uh... Oh, it just automatically wrapped them? Wrap okay. me, yeah. Okay. Um, Wraith would uh, point his sword and speak the elvish word for lightning, and he would fire a lightning bolt at its dumb eye, big dumb eye, <laughs> the lower the lower part. Okay. Oh, it's big dumb eye. In its mouth, uh, yeah, yeah. In it's the mouth Gil's, Gil's mouth eye area. Got it, got it, got it. <laughs> and I will also don the mask, but... Oh, yeah. Oh, the gas squishy, mask. squishy part of it. Yeah. Squishy looking but part of it. he speaks the word. A bla- mighty blast of lightning flies out in 100 feet, 5 foot wide. And seeing the my compatriots on the top, I would aim it low. Got it. A lightning sound effect on... For some reason, has just been letting me down every time recently. It must make a dexterity saving throw. Got it. It 
looks like an elephant. I hope it says dexterous as one. His feet look like an elephant. Well, that's why I aimed low, too. Yeah. The less dexterous. Turns path. out the thing has like a bullet time dodge. <laughs> <laughs> and it's dexterity saving throw? Yes. No. Uh, it. It's 16. It doesn't make it. It doesn't make it. Doesn't oh, make it. man. <laughs> okay. 8d6 lightning damage. Sorry, give me one sec. Lend my creature to. No, it does, definitely doesn't make it. <laughs> that was an even worse roll the second time. Uh, 31 points of lightning damage. And I will back up. We're 20 feet from the shore. Yeah. I'll back up like 10 feet. Okay. So you're now 50 feet away from the creature. Yep. And again, on either side of you, there are a few buildings that are about maybe two stories tall. No more than 15 feet away from you guys on either side. So about 30 feet between them. You're on a slight main drag down to the docks. Um, but again, people are still... Anyone who wasn't caught in the cloud are still rushing around. You see, You hear screams from behind you. Um, that brings it to, um, Flare. Huh. What you do. All right. Uh, where on this creature did we land? You, uh, where on this creature did you land? So I would have landed us next to the stock that, yeah. that the lady part comes out of. So on top of the bulbous <laughs> mass. Interesting that you think it could be a lady. Huh? Nothing. That's Sorry. how I drew it. <laughs> oh, that's fine, man. Yeah. So I don't know. <laughs> I just, I love that interpretation. I thought it was creepier that way. I love that interpretation. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Just saying. So All yeah, right. you're on the, you're on the, basically the flesh platform. Cool. Which is a terrible <laughs> term. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's true. So I Flair like is it. going to, uh, now that we're on top of it, come around the back side of it and okay. run up its like weird jiggly spine. Yeah. Uh, and run up and try and like position herself on the back of its neck and just start pounding into the back of its head. Okay. It's weird. Crooked head. The other head. The other head. <laughs> the second head. The wacky way being inflatable tube head. Ex exactly. That, that one, one, yeah. Um, that's going to be... Wait, do we uh, have advantage on attack rolls because of the aura or just saving throws? Uh, advantage on saving throws, attacks against you have disadvantage. Got it, got it, got it. So 17 From to hit. or... Right, right. I yes, know. which I'm assuming this thing's an operation and not being run dead. 17 to hit. 17 to hit? Um, you start just punching your fists into it, but even the soft, seemingly fleshy bits are just hard to your fists. You seem... You feel nothing against them. I will take my second attack. For a 15, which doesn't hit. Um, Do it, flurry. Yeah, flurry. I'm gonna flurry blows. Do yeah. it, well, monster. You know, yeah, yeah. Twelve. Oof. Thirteen. Jesus Christ. Just get him out of the way now. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, just light just explosions. One after another, after another, after another. Just straight into the back Damn. of this thing. You hear it s scream in almost just anger as it just like whips back and forth under your punches, but you're unable to find purchase through its tough hide. Apparently, everything? I think so. Okay. Yep. At the end of your turn, it's yep. going to take its next legendary action and swing at you with the taloned um, claws at the top. That is a 17 to hit. Does not hit. No. Um, you're able to just duck out of the way as you see this huge, just chitinous talon just swing over your head. Uh, that is your turn. Uh, it is Yorick's turn now. All right. Arthur, um, you're up next. 
So I'm going to, uh, I guess, cast. Yeah, let's go. I'm going to go ahead and cast Crown of Stars. Got it. Nice. Hell yeah. Um, I'm going to mutter arcane sigils to myself. And suddenly a bright light will erupt above my head as seven star-like motes of light appear and orbit my head. Uh, I will then use my bonus action to send a, a moat streaking towards this creature. Okay. We'll make a ranged spell attack. Yeah. Get him. For a 21. 21 hits. All right. Oh, man, I don't have enough d12s for this. <laughs> not a problem I you hear often. No. Uh, uh, it takes 27 points of radiant damage. Okay. You notice as your as your first moat flies and connects into its like just into the main mass. You notice as the radiant flares it seems to kind of brush off some of it. Like, the, the explosion doesn't seem to do enough or penetrate far enough. And then the rest kind of just, like, sets. It damage appears, is done. It, does, it appears to have had an effect, right? It did it's have an effect. not as much as I would what have liked it to. What did you cast? I'm sorry. Crown of Stars. And how okay. much did you do? Uh, it was, uh, what did I say, 27? 28, I think. 27 or 28. I'm going to say 28. Okay. Because that's, I think, what I heard, too. Okay. I won't argue with an extra point. Uh... It seemed to resist some of the damage. It definitely seemed to resist that. And that was radiant? Yep. Fuck. Alright. Is that something unusual to us in these creatures? Do you know about a vulnerability and a immunity? Is what you learned. Okay. Um, you do notice, uh, I would say flare and uh, bells notice the, a sheen almost kind of flow over this creature's skin as the the moat hit, it seemed to kind of sparkle uh, across. Like, sort of, it got some sort of protection. Something like that. Oh, okay. Um, but that is Yorick's turn. That was your action bonus action, cast and spell, send it out. Yep. Anything else? You already have your mask on. Um, I guess positionally, I, do I, would I want to move? Like, it's... I'm standing right next to everybody else I'm who's, not, who's not dimension doored. Yeah, I think I might st take a step back. So, like, if it runs forward, I'm not the first thing it runs into. Sure. That was it's a good point. my thought, too. Yep. Well, how far back? So you're 40 feet away from the creature right now. Uh, Wraith is 50. Uh, sorry, Wraith and our... Our Thume, our thume, thume is gone, still yeah. next but, to you. But you guys are... I would, I would assume I would know this. The character Aaron, or, or the player Aaron, does not know. Are you guys close combat oriented? Great. I would like to move further than Wraith. Okay. So, <laughs> I mean, with your movement, you could move like 15 or 20 feet, which would be behind. Or the full 25. Or the full 25. Just let me know how much you got. Uh, just 15. 15? Okay. So you now are effectively 55 feet away from the creature, 5 feet behind Wraith. Yeah. Got it. I just want to keep it checked yep, in the totally. lock chest. Mm -hmm. uh, at this point, at the end of your turn, the same thing happens. Flare, you see another one of its claws try to take a swipe at you as it does its final legendary action. Mm -hmm. That would be a 19 to hit. That does hit. So that's 15 points of slashing damage as one of the talons just comes and catches you in the back. Quick and fast. It's in and out, leaving a large gash on you. Got it. Bring it to our theme's turn. How much did you take? 15. 15. All right, on this first turn, Arthum is going to cast Spiritual Weapon for, as a bonus action. Okay. Um, at fourth level. Cool. Um, I'm going to do a throwback and, and make it a scimitar. Sorry. <laughs> uh, no, it's a mace. Yeah, I know. Make, it a, um, a, make a giant candy cane. No. And I will attack with that spiritual weapon. Yeah. Um, what is my spell? You're casting it behind or in front of the creature? Plus nine, yeah. Yes. Got it. 
Um, well, maybe behind. You could do that. Actually, I'll do behind the creature. And what? So it'll be two d eight with force. Okay, so. Roll to hit it. Uh, twenty-two to hit. Twenty-two hits. Excellent. Monster manual, you got one? Uh, seven plus eight red is 15 plus my spell passing modifier, I think is plus five. So it'll be 20 radiant damage. Force. Or is it force damage? Yeah. Uh. Yep, force damage equal to one day. Red, okay, yeah, 20 force damage. 20 force? Oh no, sorry, 19, 19, I lied. Got it. Boom, yeah, uh, you hear a sickening thud as your spectral mace just slams into the back of the creature. Both flare and bells feel it kind of like wobble at the hit. And that was my bonus action. I am then going to use my actual action to cast Sacred Flame. Uh, so it must make a dexterity saving throw, please. Okay. <laughs> uh, that is... Uh, 17. 17 meets it. There you go. Shrugged it off. Yeah, it just flows over the creature's um, But it's skin. so big. I know. That's dumb. All right. <laughs> well, that is it's our also mildly amorphous. turn. How far away am I? Am I 40. 40 feet from it. 40 feet from it, I know. But it, it's still in the water? It's still in the water. Okay. 20 feet. We backed up. Um... I will also back up 20 feet. Okay. Yes. So you're going, you're going to be behind the other two. So you're now 60 feet back from the monster. Uh, Yorg is 55. Wraith okay. is 50. Yeah. I will meet, okay, uh, I will meet Wraith. 10 feet back, got yeah. it. Okay. So Wraith and... Yorg are, or Wraith and Arthum are together. Yorg's five feet behind them. Everyone else is on the Are you next to me or are we just the same distance Same away? distance away. But I wouldn't say we're right next to each okay. other for the sake of spreading out. Okay. Yeah. And we're going to check a recharge. Does not make it. Also... As it rise, as it kind of starts to move forward, it's just trunk-like feet, the large um, elephant hoofs stomping as they go. You all, it kind of lets out this giant bellow out of the lower mouth that kind of vibrates everything around. And you all need to make a wisdom saving throw. Advantage. Advantage. Right. Wait, do I have any special things for that? Ooh. 21 for Arthur. Got it. Uh, 19 for Bells. Got it. Flare also got a 21. Sick. Yorick also got a 21. Awesome. 16. Word. Uh, you all feel this wash over you, but you, you stand firm and tall against this creature. Okay. As it begins to move forward. Was it sort of like a menacing bellow? It is. Okay. The end result would have been similar to other big creatures. As it begins to charge forward, not dashing, but rushing out of the water, you see it just clamoring through. Smaller boats just cracking under its feet. Bodies going flying. Excuse me. Stepping all over the dinghies. Yes. It finally makes its way outside of the water, stops for just a moment, kind of looks around, and then takes, uh, it kind of sees the three of you standing there as everyone's running and kind of screaming around it. It hones in, its crooked neck swishing back and forth and stopping, and then it continues to move forward step by step, now slower methodically now, judging its distance. As it does, you see it try to whip 
out like one of the tentacles on it and at that point it tries to whip bells up and into its mouth these things happen <laughs> uh even here you, um, you are bored um if i s- we, n- now we're within range of whatever are we, you were talking about because he ran feet? forward well, um, i am i am yeah, I was gonna say it how is far now, out like how it is now twenty five feet forward into its movement. Um I will use my improved warding flare and give it disadvantage on this. Okay. Um hang on. Unless it's just a save for me. Yeah, so I use my reaction um and use my warding flare for this attack, which makes a light flash in its eyes and gives it disadvantage on this Got attack. It. Uh, as the tentacle whips around, the large bulbous eye in the very center mass of this creature kind of like sees that flash, and you see its um, pupil and iris just shrink down to almost nothing. The trifold uh, pupil just like thins out to barely lines, and then it kind of gives that screech as it tries to bite down on Bells, giving it disadvantage. It's okay if I could eat, and I have backup plans. Uh. With disadvantage, it, it does uh, 31 to hit. Oh, that hits. What the fuck? I tried. Appreciate it. Uh, oh, damn. So how far out away from the group <laughs> of three of us is it now? Uh, so if it was 50 feet away from you all, it moved 25 feet towards, so it's now 25 feet away from you. Gotcha. Thank you. Yes. I can math this out in my head. Bells, you feel these jagged, roughshod teeth that almost seem to be stuck in the middle of this morphous blob chomp down on you. Uh, you f- you take a total of 18 points of piercing damage. And as you feel the teeth kind of rock into you... This is a good thing, actually. You feel the muscles behind it in its mouth pull you in. Oh, I'm swallowed. I knew this was coming. The tentacle releases and your companion disappears into the creature. Gulp! You are now blinded and restrained. Doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Got it. <laughs> I just love that you got eight again. I get eight sometimes. <laughs> it happens. It's fine. Oh, uh, how much damage was that again? 18, 18. if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, I make that. Cool. So you guys know that I'm still alive because your beacon hands are still going off. Yep. <laughs> it then, in turn, swings twice with the claws at you, Flare. Trying to knock you off. So first is... That's 25. Second is... Uh, 24. Both hit. As you take a moment, you're, you're stunned by seeing your friend being completely encompassed in its mouth. You lose concentration and you feel the sharp sting of its claws upon your back. 11. That's 19 for the first. And 16 for the second slashing damage. So how much? 19 and 16. 19 and 16? Yeah. So that's 35? Yep. It then begins to rush forward. The last amount of its movement. It gets to 40 feet and stops it sees you to uh, Arthum and Wraith and at that moment you see its two foremost tentacles whip out in a blinding flash towards the two of you okay it has this advantage yep because I cast protection from evil good that's right against, them. against you specifically right yeah yeah so let's go well, for I mean, it also has this advantage because we all have, it has disadvantage on attacks against all of us because yeah. of my holy Isn't it, if it's if oh it's you're right you're right, you're right. Fiend, sorry sorry right? sorry yes it's, it's only if it's all if it's yeah I've, you're right you're right or is that only the things that have to make the save double check 
Just in case, but I'm gonna go for Wraith first. Okay. So do you have disadvantage? Man, that's a waste of a nat 20. That's 19 to hit you. Uh, that does not hit me. Okay, you see the tentacle whip out, you catch it with your eye. Shield. And yeah, shield up, and you hear this resounding gong as it crashes against your shield, but you're able to smack it away. All attacks have a disadvantage. Oh, weird. Yep. Cool. It only, if it's a fiend or undead, it has, it, it must make a save attack. or be blinded. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Recipro- so all attacks have disadvantage until I lose concentration on the spell. Sounds good. To everyone, then? Yes, yeah. everyone. Oh, well, then I had, sorry, let us go back. That is an important thing to know. So one of those, the so first it's attack a definitely spell, it fucking better. Yeah. <laughs> if we do them both at the same, yeah. Yeah. So then that would be 18. Okay. Points of damage. I guess I didn't have to use my fucking. Uh, that is still 19 for the last one. Or for the second one. Uh, that would hit. I will re roll though, because I rolled for the previous mistake. Or unless you'd round it there, me keep the 19 damage. Your points. call. Um, I'll re roll. Re roll and keep the lower Sweet. one? I'll re roll and keep the lower <laughs> one. It was my mistake because we didn't. We didn't have that one down. Wait, so you get... So did you add the health back? Nope. Oh, that you would have lost? Nope, I was just going to add anything oh. if it didn't hit. Um, It would have been more, so let's keep the 19. Okay. Still not great. Oh, so you still got hit regardless. Both, Both times. times. Got it. Gosh, damn it. Uh, but, Arthume, we're going to go for... Uh, that's cocked. That would be a 21 to hit you. Hits me, I think. Yeah, hits. Does hit. Um, so you also throw up your shield, but too quick and without poise, you notice the tentacle gets around it and you feel it wrap around your being. You are now grappled as you feel your weight lessen as it tries to wrench you off the ground. Okay, but I'm not, I didn't take any damage. Oh yeah, you took damage. Okay. How much damage am I taking? Hold on. The lowest possible damage for this attack, because, fuck, um, god damn it, like eleven points of damage, bludgeoning damage. Eleven. Yeah. Okay. Concentration for your aura. Yep. Uh, okay. Wait, so I'm making a con- a con saving throw for that, which I have advantage on. You just have to be a ten. You're so golden. Um. Fuck. I lose it. Really? Really? Yep, I got an eight. Phew. That sucks. Okay. Well, there goes that level eight spell slot. That's done. It did. It definitely did things. It did. Sure. <laughs> it helped. Uh huh. Um. That is the end of its turn. As it as we <laughs> as we really return to the top of the round, the writhing people begin to scream. And now you start to notice just like red forming around them. Red. Off their bodies, soaking into their... Is this a side effect we've seen before? This is. What comes next? Bad things. These creatures have been infected by the... That's kind of what I thought. Uh, If we kill the source of it, does that have any effect on this? No, once these creatures have been infected by Father's Frost, uh, you've known them to very quickly become uh, Broodspawn, which is what you have colloquially named them. They show signs of Limix infection and they mindlessly begin attacking. Okay. How many rounds? Do we know how many rounds it's going to be before the transformation is complete? It takes 12 seconds when fully infected. So we're halfway through, basically? Yeah. Okay. You do know that stronger constitution constitution creatures will last longer, even under the effect. Got like, it. our Thum is right, not right, right. this. The problem the is commoners, I guess, people get... of a weak constitution yeah. fall to this very quickly, which is a very uh, rife like yeah. tactic that has been used by these creatures all over the place. Got it. 
But we are at the top of the round. Bells, you find yourself restrained, blinded, and in the midst of this creature's gullet. All right. Uh, Bells just takes a mental inventory, realizing that his entire outfit is ruined. Just fucking destroyed. Absolutely. 100%. These are these silks cost more than probably this whole town will ever see in their life. This is a terrible, terrible tragedy. He the will then cast Polymorph on himself and turn into a storm giant. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yes. <laughs> I mean, I would like you... Oh man, what would you roll for damage? Yes, right? you're, yes, you're yes. damaging. Of course you're damaging. God. Um, <laughs> that's fucking glorious. <laughs> yeah. I'd say what? Let's do a lightning bolt worth of 8d6. Yeah, 8d6 motes of damage and you are <laughs> um, being your size, you are instantly vomited out onto the ground. Like, nice. It cannot hold. Like once your body starts to grow, it cannot hold you past um, your medium size. Two. And another two. Awesome. So six, twelve, eighteen, uh, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-four damage. As you all, as your hands fade and just a fucking storm giant gets ejected from this creature's body. <laughs> I'm going to say birthed. Birthed is great. <laughs> Wherever you decide I come out of is entirely <laughs> it's that's mouth. DM's choice. As I, that was a really good damage roll. That was, a, that was awesome. I got three sixes, four, five, and three twos. Nice. Yeah. Wow. Not bad. And I am now a storm giant. Okay, boom. Um, and yeah, just this black, viscous ichor just starts to pour out the sides of its mouth as you have ripped pieces of its internal makeup. Nice. And uh, I will use my movement to stand up. So I imagine once I get vomited, I'm still on the ground. Yes. Um, and I don't believe I have a mail or a bonus action in this form that I can use. So. That'll be it. Yeah. You stand tall now as you all see your tabaxi bard, a storm giant. Kaiju battle. I still look like, I still look like me, but I'm storm giant version of me. Yeah. Okay. So no shirt, just a loincloth. Yeah. All blue. Yeah, all blue. Okay. Uh, just looking. But you still look like a cat. I look like if someone took a cat, cat and Hulk? turned him into a Greek god. Okay. But blue Greek god. Got it. So that's it. Dr. Mittens. Man, <laughs> Dr. Mittens Manhattan. <laughs> yeah, why not? Um, at that point, the creature just like... You now stand... Your space would definitely take up the 15 feet between you and your companions. 10, actually. Oh, yeah, 10 between you, yeah. 15 between... But yeah, it would definitely set between them. Um, I will give... Arthum a uh, saving throw for being uh, an athletics check to get out of your grapple. Oh. Oh, sure. It is now impeded by it. Athletics, you yes. said? Yes. Uh, alright. Because I blew up from its guts? Yeah, and okay. now and now stand yes. as a wall between it and oh, yeah. them. Fifteen? You are able to, you feel the, the tentacle loosen just enough, and as you do, you get the edge of your shield between it and you. As it slides across your slick armor, you're able to just wrench it off of you. And the tentacle flops to the ground and kind of wheels away as it does. So yeah, you are no longer grappled. Right. Got it. Um, but at the end of your turn, Bells, it is going to take its first legendary action and try to swing one of its claws at you. Sounds good. That is 28 to hit. Oh yeah, that hits. Uh, 
Do you, you have to roll concentration for that when you take damage? I think so. Wait, on for yourself? what? For, on uh, himself, right? He polymorphed himself. Yeah, he does. So yeah. he has to roll concentration anytime he takes damage? 15 points of uh, slashing damage. So, hold on. Uh, but he uses the Storm Giant's constitution. Yeah, which is... <laughs> which is fucking baller. So, uh, that's, that's a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I make it. Handily make it Excellent. with 21. Yeah, so you feel the slash of this creature's claw rake across your chest, uh, and the, nope. the warmth of your blood kind of starts pouring down, but you hold concentration. Uh, I still seem offended. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Wraith. Uh, In front of you stands a giant Greek god version of Bells. Fantastic. Uh, Between you and uh, the creature. I will dart around and I will try to... Uh, how tall is its stomach, basically? I, how high off the ground is its stomach underneath its legs? Uh, I would say a good 15 feet from like okay. lowest point to... Alright. I will dash through underneath it to the other side of it and I'll make th three slashes at its underbelly as okay. I go. That's a 25. 25 hits. That's a 22. 22 hits. That is a 26. Ooh. Also, wait, your yeah. holy aura dropped, right? Her. Our yes. theme's holy. Yes. Never mind. Yes. Uh, yeah. 22. 25, 26, correct? Yeah. All hit. Because I rolled two fives. Yes. Excellent. I will... Damage. Oh, man. 14 plus... 9 plus... 11, so 24 total points of damage. And I have a feature uh, called Eldritch Strike. I can undercut a creature's resistance to my spells if uh, it has disadvantage on the next saving throw it makes against the spell I cast before the end of my next turn. Okay. Uh, but I come out from under it on the other side and move into a flanking position with our theme. And, well, yeah, our theme. No, and... No. Can, it's hard. Can I, also, can I do both? Because it's so, because Bell's so big. No. Okay. Then I will give it to. I think actually I'll flank with Bell. Okay. With Greek god Bell. Instead Greek of god. me. I'm no longer flanking. Yeah, we are not flanking. Okay, got it. In truth, you never were. <laughs> That's true. Uh, that'll be the end of my turn. At the end of your turn, um, as this b black goo just starts pouring down from the cuts you let it um, dug into it. Uh, one of the tentacles from the back half of it swings back at you as it takes its legendary action. At its disadvantage. Yep. That would be 17. That is not hit. Excellent. I block it with my shield. Ting! As you do, we bring it to Flare's turn. Flare. Uh-uh. <clears throat> Flair's tired of getting hit. Oops, whoa. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Clearly. This microphone just about <laughs> um, headbutted me. So, you said this thing's about 25 feet tall? Yeah. Flair is going to. Uh, take a swing at it first off. Crit fail. <coughs> Roll me that. Roll me a D100. Oops. 75. Yeah, 
you slam into it, but you hit straight into one of the kind of chitinous plates, and you feel that sensation roll through your body. I'm going off of the fumble table, and you are stunned for one round. Is that this round or the next round? This round. This round. Yeah. Okay. Basically, till the end of till the start At of the end next of this round. round. Okay. You're still on top of it. Oh yeah. yeah. Not anymore. I'm assuming. Oh wait, you're grappled by it. No, he's. Well, stunned. I mean, I was standing on top of it. Now mm-hmm. I'm stunned. So does that mean I'd keep my ground? I guess it depends on if it moves. I feel as though, because it hasn't moved. You basically just hit it, and you feel it rush through your body and fall just, like, into the creature. So you don't fall off. You know? Yet. Yet. You're right. Huh. Um. I'm going to... So where is everybody in relation to it? So you're on top of it, kind of. You're... I'm 25 feet in front of it. No, right? it's much. Uh, As we've been closer since then. It's 15 feet away. 15 from feet you. away. I'm 15 feet in front of it now. Okay. And uh, Wraith, you're behind I'm it. I'm underneath, or I'm, I'm behind it, flanking with um, Bell. Okay. And Bell's your uh, in front of it, okay, in between well, me so and it. So it ran 40 feet. Uh, then. Bell's got spat out, which mm-hmm. is filling up that ten foot space between where Arthum and Wraith were. Wraith ran under Bell's, under the creature, and on the opposite side. So you're behind me. Yes, I'm behind. You. I'm in between. You're behind Arthum as well, so five feet behind Arthum. So the creature is effectively fifteen feet. You're the furthest back. I'm the furthest back. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I'm going to cast haste on Bell's. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> That's... I want a fast storm giant. <laughs> okay. That's neat. And That's then I'm really gonna neat. and then I'm gonna send a mode of light at this thing. Okay. And attack it. Uh does a fifteen hit? Fifteen does not. Okay. Uh that's my turn. Okay. You basically see it flying towards and one of the the claws just whip out and just catch it and knock it to the side. It flies off, catching into one of the bits of rubble and exploding. Hey, that's my turn. At the end of your turn, as you do that, um, you see one of the tentacles kind of whip around towards Yorig. Okay. As its last legendary action. Or second this turn. This is after my turn, right? <laughs> this is after, yes, at the end of the turn. <laughs> I'm just trying to think. Yeah, this is second, because I slashed at um, Bells. All right. Uh, it is a 26 to hit. Uh, I'm just checking something. Yeah, that hits. Okay. It does... 19 points of bludgeoning damage, and you feel the tentacle just wrap around you. A uh, concentration, concentration check. Yep. Don't you have an abjuration thing? Uh, I don't have... I, I, it's not high enough? I don't think there's one that I'm missing. Um, I, don't you have the ward thing as part of your school? Yeah, you got that. I have, a, I have to cast an abjuration spell oh. in order to get that. Oh, there you go. And I have not cast an abjuration gotcha. spell yet. Gotcha. Um, so, uh, but fun fact, Crown of Stars is not a concentration spell. Nice. So that doesn't go away. Um, uh, yeah, anyways, concentration, here we go. That's not great. Uh... Yeah, that's a 10. That passes. Mm, wait, no, because I did... Yeah, because you hit me for 19. Yes. Oh, shit, that yeah, passes. Yeah, it does pass. Just passes. All right. Woo! 
You would have just stun locked me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Shit. I feel been. great. Oh. Oh. I don't yep. feel great at all. Yup. Shit. <laughs> that uh, was pretty slick, DM. Good try there. Yeah. Uh, as you feel your body get wrenched off the ground, you are now suspended five feet in the air. Okay. As you are grappled, Arthur, it's your turn. He now has a flashlight <clears throat> because my crown is lit up. Lydia. So, the first thing Arthur does is uh, takes his mace and kind of swings it in the air in front of him horizontally while his spiritual weapon mimics, like, mirrors that Got it. That action. It would have had, um, you would have to move it to. How far can you move it? Uh, 20 feet? It moved 40. Let me see. I didn't think about that. God yeah. damn it. I can move it. 20 feet. Okay. Never mind. I didn't realize it moved a full 40 in that time. You can um, start moving it, though. I will move it 20 feet, then. Okay. <sighs> Fuck it. I'm just going to do it. Um, I love that phrase. <laughs> All the stops. Arthum <laughs> moves his spiritual weapon forward and then says, My Lord Lathander, help me bring light back to this land and take this creature back to, to its depths permanently. And I cast Divine Intervention. Okay. Or not cast, but you know. I get what I'm you're just, doing. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. It's gotta be 15. No, 38. Ooh. It's worth a shot. Yeah. It was worth a shot. Yeah, I, I had to try. I you had, had to fucking try. try. Oh my God, that would've been. That would've been awesome. But as you call out, the sun's rays are too weak. Yep. And though you may cast spells through his power, his gaze does not fall upon you at the moment. That's true. How to try. I get that. Is that your turn? That's my turn. Got it. How far away am I from the creature right now? Still 15 feet? 10. Because you're in its melee. Mm, 10 feet. Yeah. But you are in its melee. Yeah, I know. How far? Okay, you're on the other side now. Uh-huh. I didn't have enough movement to clear it, so yeah. I am also I in. will... I'll stay where I'm at. I'll stay where I'm at. Also, I did this with that. The one hitting Yorick was the third because I did Flare, Wraith, and then Yorick. Oh, that's right. Uh, recharge. Doesn't do it. Um, but as this all like goes down this creature just seeing you all around it um it basically just flails itself around um you f see its lower mouth kind of almost goblin shark-esque breach forward and try to bite at um at bells's lower regions ankles thighs dim thick tabaxi thighs mm -hmm. with its first attack Powerful feline thighs. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a fumble. Oh shit! And I got a 21. Okay. Saving throws have disadvantage, and attack rolls have advantage against this creature for one round. Okay then. Noted. Wow! Does that include Wait. spell attacks? Wait. Yeah, saving so throw. if I'm attacking it... It has disadvantage on saving It throws. has disadvantage. So what it? happens when it tries to bite me? Uh, it basically tries to reach out, but with everything going on, it just kind of um, doesn't notice the distance is too long, and you see its jaw just slack out for a moment, rem like basically revealing soft portions behind it, mm -hmm. allowing for easy, easy egress to hit it. Vital tendons, I guess. Uh, but post that, Woo. tentacles whip. Two of them whip towards Wraith. First. Uh, yes, disadvantage. Yep. That is 23 to hit. I will shield to make my AC 26. Got it. <laughs> Jesus. Till the start of my next turn. Till the start of the next turn. Second one does the same. As <sighs> shield erupts around you and you see the tentacle just smash against this spectral space between you and it. Yeah. Um, it tries again. It's cocked. It's cocked. Come on, 
motherfucker. Actually, no, 19. Doesn't hit you. And then it does its final swing as it kind of sweeps its neck down. The top neck. The top neck. The claw half. Trying to s- claw down. Flare. In your moment of leaning against you, you feel the ground below you fall out from under you. As you fall to its lower portions. You fall a total of 10 feet. Take two points of bludgeoning damage from the fall. Um, and are our... They... Oh, two? Two. And are now set with upon its uh, its larger um, lower portion. Uh, then it swings out with two claws, as it does. Excuse me? Ah, flare. Yeah. That is a 29 to hit you. Yup. Wait, no, not at... F- no, it was leaning forward to slash oh, okay. bell. Sorry. Sorry. I heard flare. That was not my... Yeah. Sorry. Uh, it still has disadvantage, right? It has disadvantage against me, for sure. Because of its fumble. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, still 29 to hit. That hits. Second. That would be a... Uh, 20... I can math. It's a 24. That hits. I only have a 16 armor class as a storm giant. So two just wretched claws reach out and swing. Do that damage. That's 17 slashing for the first. Uh, 17 slashing for the second. All right, let's roll me some constitution checks. You have plus two AC from haste. Oh, oh shit! Well then, realized. yeah, they're both eighteen, but the, he still blew those out of the yeah. water. Uh, ooh, that might be dangerous, but I can't give myself advantage. What was the damage on the second? Seventeen. Yeah. So ten is the number you. Oh, know. then I got it by far. Both of them. Yep. Excellent. Nailed both of them. I got a seventeen and an eight on the dice. I have a plus five constitution as a storm giant. Okay. So let me add up that damage real quick because it's on a different page. 17, 17, 20, 34. Yeah. Sweet. Okay, now it drops me down. I'm doing okay, guys. I'm doing okay. 45. Ah. Cool. You now all hear the sickening sound you've heard before. Bones reforming, skin ripping asunder, and plates, chitin, and claws growing where they shouldn't, as screams turn into roars. Uh, I have a question. What do we know about the base form of these creatures? You know, they have similar... uh, They gain a bit of potency compared to their original form. Right. Uh... They have the ability to do a similar, but not exactly the same um, breath. breath. Okay. Uh, and they they seemingly can only do that once. Uh, you've only had one in custody, and it's only been able to do it once per sun, sunrise. Got it. And in terms of ease to kill? A lot of the same vulnerabilities and... Um, I meant just like how many hits does it take? How many licks does it take to get to the center of the Tootsie Roll? Not many. Okay. So, uh, not. Okay. It's definitely not as easy as one would fell a commoner, but it's not okay. anything like the creature you're facing. Got it. Uh, bells, how many does it seem? Many. Like many. a decent amount. Um, I would say at the moment you're a little distracted from being uh, grappled. Yeah, whipped back and forth. Yeah. You whip your Yorg back and forth. You sorry, uh-huh. Bells, your turn. Uh-huh. Um. So as a storm giant, my multi attack is a great sword. Do I get a great sword, or am I just a storm giant? Yeah, you're just a storm giant. But okay. You could multi attack with your natural uh, kalaos. I could do that. How many of my friends are grappled? 
one, right? Just You're down, Yorg. Claire, and then Yorg is grappled. I'm gonna ungrapple Yorg first. Okay, go straight for the tentacle. Yeah. Okay. I'm yeah, just yeah. gonna be holding Yorg at that point. Just, just snatch him up out of the air. Okay, so then I'm gonna say it's an athletics contest. <laughs> Good fucking luck. <laughs> <laughs> and I have it. Do I have advantage on that one, or because you mentioned that you have a? No, that's just disadvantage on attacks. Saving throws. Okay. It's saving throws and then advantage on the attack. Not skill challenges. Right? Okay, I wonder if my plus nine strength will bring me through. <laughs> Oh, that wasn't a great roll on my part. I had rolled a three on the die, so 12. You reach down and grab your friend, but quickly you feel the tentacle wrench him out of your hand. Dick, move. Uh, well then, fuck this guy. I'm gonna grab the closest piece of debris uh -huh. that would be ballistically similar to a rock sure. and smash it on its fucking head. Sure. So. And you've got an extra attack, remember, because from haste. It would be that would be my action to try and pull you free, and this is my extra attack. I thought. Got it. That's Great. how it works. Yeah, yeah. you get one. You get an extra action that can be used to attack or use any of the like dashing. Yeah. Time. So I use one to try and, but then out of my frustration, I'm just gonna hit it with debris. I Sounds like good. that. Um, debris. That would be a 13 on the dice and a plus 14 to hit with the attack. So 27. Oh, yeah, so I just pick up a piece of the toss ship and just brain this fucking thing. Uh, you know what? I'll just go for the, the creature on the top part yeah, and yeah. just smash it right in her face. So that's 11, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 37 damage. Got it. With a piece of just whatever as i'm sure it explodes yes on this thing that i would definitely say that is a one-time use damaging item i'm sure there's other debris i'll find oh something. yeah i'll figure Absolutely. it out i'm just saying the one you just smashed is oh yeah used up coming off the top rope yep <laughs> doing what i can Anything uh, else? and i think that's it sorry yorg i'll get you next time if i'm still in its grasp oh yeah true true uh, that's my turn. Okay. That's what I got. Off to the far left, one of the creature, one of the people now creatures, rises up. The two horrid claws out of its arms, where its forearms were, the the jaw distended, and these gnarled teeth grow. Odd eyes pop up all over its face, and again, that kind of chitinous armor-like um, growth on its back, hunched over, almost praying mantis-like. Um, tears off into the fleeing crowds and is gone. You oh, here. I was under the impression that no one survived the, the running. So, okay. So. No, there's still people. Like, oh, okay, we're, cool. we're only 12 seconds into this situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are still people fleeing. Gosh, gosh, gosh. gosh. But it is. It tore ass out of this area and you start hearing like terrible squelching got, sounds and screams. It, yeah. Uh, followed by Wraith. Um, As you were on the opposite side of the creature. <sighs> Wraith would... Uh, Wraith would just use the position of advantage and with uh, with bells and make some strikes. Oh, so we have oh we have advantage anyway because of the uh, thing. Twenty-three. Twenty-three hits. Uh, twenty-six. And 25, all hits. All three attacks, level 15 fighter, yeah. beast mode. Um, seven plus 11 is 18. 
plus 10, 28 points of damage. Okay. And... Uh, I'll circle around the creature and I'll action surge and I'll point my sword at the creature and so this attack does not hit bells on the other side. And I will say Valar, which is the elven word for lightning, and I'll cast lightning bolt. I'm immune! Oh yeah, well... <laughs> Whatever, I appreciate the consideration. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I don't think, as a character, I would know. I would necessarily know. That's legit. So it has to make a dexterity saving throw with disadvantage, please. Okay. You see... 16. 16? Yeah. It misses its save. Okay. Ooh, lots of ones, but... <sighs> 27 points of lightning damage. 27? Yes. And, uh... I have an ability called Arcane Charge. I have the ability to teleport up to 30 feet to an unoccupied space I can see. When I use my action surge, uh, I can teleport before or after the action. I'll teleport back into flanking. Okay. <laughs> Blip. And that is the end of my turn. Sounds good. <clears throat> More of those creatures begin to scream, writhe, and rise. And as they do, the first starts to rush over to Wraith. As they make it to you, these long claws slash at you. But you notice them, with an odd intelligence, try to slash at your face. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm going to say... Like a behavior we've never seen before. I've never not really seen before. Mm. Or like we know that they're going for the face or the soft bits. They the claw seems. To, I'll let you know in a second. Oh, Let's okay. see if we miss or not, because I think that'll give you a nice little okay. flavor to it. Still oh. disadvantage. Correct. Man, away from the match twenties. But Why does it have a disadvantage? So I have protection from evil and good up uh, from oh, aberrations. Oh, that's right, that's right. I mean, it still has it from the fumble, anyways. Well, no, this no. is the, this these is one of the spawn things. Oh, God. sorry, yeah. The zerglings are coming. Uh, definitely doesn't make it. Uh, as you as it slashes at your head, you notice that the claw narrowly misses the respirator. Oh. As it makes a second attack. Got it. Okay. Uh, once again, it misses entirely. You're able to dodge other way. The second one now clashes against your shield. But okay. there's intent behind these claws. Oddly specific intent. As another one rises and rushes over, <clears throat> you see it run towards Arthum. You notice, oddly, at the end of... Actually, everyone... Everyone roll me a perception check. Okay. Nope. Oops, I wasn't supposed to roll. Perception! 16. 16? Um, 17 if I use my own, I believe, yes. Said target six, including mental ability scores. Yep, yeah, so 17. Uh, I got a 19. Okay. Oh, wait. Say, including mental ability score. Hold on. That's... Yeah, same thing. Okay. Yorick. Shoot, sorry. Perception. Oh, uh, no, no. Uh, no. Just no. Flair, no, same no. thing. <laughs> Actually, 21. I'm stunned. Do you still want me to... That's true. Uh, 21. 21? Yeah. You notice, the three of you notice the creature's head kind of moving back and forth. 
almost like directing. It seems to, oh. as it does, as it moves its head towards its right, it seemingly motions towards a creature that now runs towards our thing. Claws up and reaching. Uh, I'm going to have a called shot, which I'm going to give it disadvantage on as okay. it swings towards you. Okay. Attacking the respirator, I would assume. <laughs> uh, does it appear like the top half is like doing doing most of that while the other half operates and then like... It more just the head of the thing seems to move it. back okay. and forth. I assume it does not hit your uh, AC. Excellent. Second attack, same thing. Uh, same thing, does not hit your AC. Uh, Excellent. The claws slam into your shield and then into your armor, but nothing comes of it. Um, as it seems to willfully flail at you, but is unable to... Bells, your respirator would have broken. I would have been absorbed in my body. Oh, it would have been absorbed because you'd keep the stuff in them. Hey. Mm-hmm. Word. <laughs> then four now stand up and rush straight towards Bells, all of them trying to stab at your legs. Yeah, that's fine. I ain't skip leg day. Plus two to my AC. So that's. That is a 15, a 21, a 9, and a 20. So two of those hit. And that so, 20, and then the one. Well, I have an 18 AC. So it's two of them. Yes. Then no, no, yes, 19 hits, and 14 does not. So one crit, three regulars, as these four creatures just rush at your heels and just start stabbing into them with their like newly birthed claws cool <laughs> cool <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of concentration checks fine it's fine everything's fine i believe in you i believe in me <laughs> i think hard i have no doubt that I bells believe you. <laughs> i believe in me <laughs> i have no doubt that bells believes in themselves Hell bales. 29 for the crit. Woo! Let's roll, uh, yeah. Then, we're gonna go in order then. That was the second attack. The first attack does a total of... 29 on a crit, damn. Seven. Damn. Uh, does a total of... Seven, ten. Fourteen? Okay, do I roll them as we go? So, 14 was the first, 29 was the second. Okay. Do I roll uh, them as we sure. go? Sure. Let's roll them as we go. So 14. Okay. That's just the 10. 14 plus 5. Uh, make it. Okay. 29. Let's take the damage here. So that'd be 14. 14. Yeah. Ooh. I don't think I make that one. A 6 plus 5. Let's use my uh, inspiration that I got last game. Hmm? Nice. Yeah. Well, well, I have to do half, right? You remembered, you did remember the, the plus two to AC, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Wait, so what's the one, what am I trying to beat again? The 20... 14. 14. Oh, yeah. Definitely using my inspiration. Okay. Blink. It's 1d6. No, it's advantage. Oh, yeah. It is advantage. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, that was really I so rarely give it out in this Yeah, one. I know, right? And I made it by... A, I rolled a 17 on the dice. Plus nice. five. Excellent. So 18 as the last attack. So nine. 10. Sorry, Tim. Dude, I don't think I made that one, folks. I have plus five and I rolled a three. As you lose your concentration on that spell, you turn back into bells, if I'm not mistaken, correct? You shrink. Uh, your, your tabaxi bard returns to their original size. Now the creature towers. <gasps> again. It's difficult not being able to talk during that time. <laughs> Much more comfortable now. <laughs> Stretch a little bit. <laughs> mm. um, so much sexier when I'm not blue. <laughs> and they're surrounded by all those dudes. Shit happens. Yeah, okay. Flare, your faculties return to you. You find yourself in the <clears> lower <throat> portion of this creature. Uh, Flare just kind of like pushes up off of this thing and just 
looks around and sees like all the chaos that has now started to happen and just again tries to start wailing into this thing. Got it. <clears throat> uh, for a 20 to hit? 20 hits. Yay! Punch it. <laughs> Ghost puncher. Punch it real good. Oh god. Uh, so that's gonna be 8 damage. Uh, and I would like to spend a key point to do a stunning strike. Yes. Okay. Try and return the fucking favor. <laughs> uh, it does have to make a con save. Okay. Probably is not bad at that. But it has disadvantage. Right. And it uses its first legendary resistance to make that save. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Second attack. Uh, 26 to hit. Definitely hits. Another key point to try and stun it. Okay. <laughs> Work through all those legendary those resistances. Legendary actions. Uh, eight yes. points for the first one. What's that? Eight points, yeah. Eight points? Eight points, yes. Okay. Uh, and then ten for the second one. Okay. Um, and then seeing the, that... The con save, because just in case you it doesn't make it and it's stunned, you'll have a lot of good against it. So give me one second. <laughs> He said it has disadvantage. Because of the fumble, right? Yes. Close turn. I got a 22. Okay. Uh, Flair is then going to... So she, I imagine that when Flair woke up, she just kind of like braced herself up on her knees and started punching into this thing. Absolutely. So she's going to put her hands back down on it and push off as she flies backwards and uh, kind of circles around it. And she's going to uh, put her hands together as a streak of fire comes shooting out of it and try and wraps around the top of it uh, as she casts Burning Hands, uh, which I get to do as a bonus action. And then she's going to pump some key points into it to make it stronger. Power it up. Let's see, so... So I spent seven key points total to cast it at. Uh, that would make it six level, I think. Damn! Or no, fit. Yeah, six level. Two for the initial, and then five extra on top of it. So, and you hear the the words "come." <laughs> we got short range coming in, yeah. Has to make some sort of save. Oh yeah, it's deck save. Okay. With Does it disadvantage. Still have disadvantage. Mm -hmm. yeah. Disadvantage. Fuck. That's a bad one. How did it land? It, la it literally landed just on its edge, <laughs> in the middle of the fucking dice box. It made it with a 21. Uh, so it would have been 23 points of fire damage, which would be reduced to 11. Yeah. Which you notice as you blast this creature with burning hands, as your fire rains down upon it, the amorphous and just muddled... Oh, I should have had one more d6 in there. Uh, so that's another two damage. Okay, so then it would have been... 13. That's after it's reduced, so... Okay, so 13... Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, as your fire rains down, as you notice it kind of, that sheen cool. echo, like ripples across it, it dissipates for a moment as the muddled flesh just writhes under the flames. You know that it's vulnerable to these things, and you see large chunks of it go solid and burn as it takes. 26 points of damage. Flare, anything else? Are you still upon it? No, I like pushed back off of it and now I'm like flying around it. Midair? Yeah. Oh, shit, you can fly? 
Yep. That's so cool. <laughs> Yep. So cool. <laughs> I mean, I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> Bells has seen um, this all before. The last thing Flair does is she puts on a respirator. Ah, yes, yes. Good plan. Uh, your legs turn into a cloud of, like, burning smoke, like an a nope. or something? Oh. Oh, oh okay. Is this, is it's this an item. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's something that you've used before, I assume we would have seen. Yeah, you guys before. would know about it, okay. yeah. Uh, can I can I note that the wings kind of look like red, feathered? Oh, definitely, yeah. sure. Oh yeah, a like hint that. of glimmering gold on the tips. Okay. Uh, brings it to Yorick. You are still uh, grappled. Grappling. Yeah, um, I'm grappled. So remind me how grappled works with spells. You can cast whatever you want. Yeah. Does it affect targeting or anything like that? Nothing. Well, if it's, well I mean, if it, you're targeting who you're grappled by, it's still disadvantage, unless it's a melee attack. Yeah. If so, like, you, a saving throw is fine, but because you're in melee with the creature, basically, you'll have disadvantage on ranged spell attacks. Okay. Cool. But saves. So, who all, so, who all is next to it? All, everyone. Everyone's next to it? Basically. How wide is this thing? Decently wide. It's a gargantuan creature. It's, what, 25 feet tall? I'd say the total is about a 15 by 15 foot cube. Cool. So, I'm assuming there isn't an issue with me uh, casting fireball in an area where it can't hit any of my friends. You could cast it, it. Uh, near its higher head and it wouldn't yeah. hit anyone. <laughs> Great. Uh, I would like to cast fireball at 5th level. Okay. Um, and just, yeah, right, right in its higher head. Um, right in that higher head. Mm-hmm. Burn its greasy hair. I Man. will. I will. Um, so. Reveal his creepy face. Alright. Can I borrow the monster manual back, please? Monster. I guess I don't need it anymore. Not at the moment. Uh, that's 37 points of fire damage. Word. Uh, it's what? Well, okay. It is going to try to make it save. It's not gonna do anything about it. It's gonna take it. So it takes a total of sixty. From, so. 74 points yeah. of damage. Ooh. Um, I would also like to direct one of the moats just like into its tentacle in front of me. Okay. This is a range spell attack, right? Yes. yes. This is a disadvantage. This is a disadvantage. Do I get any advantage because it has... Yeah, it evens out because it's so it'd be a straight roll, straight roll, straight roll right? Yeah. You have advantage right. on attacks against Sweet. it. Sweet, that's 25. So. 25 hits? Uh. Oh, that's right. Alright. Um. 18 points of radiant. Bookkeeping the class. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, just an explosion as the fireball just erupts above you all and catches into the creature's uh, upper body. You see bits of it char and blacken the blue kind of um, armored, uh, just chitinous armor just kind of turns into this murky black. Uh, and yeah, the hair seems to singe the slick wetness dries and you see now it just like furls out does it drop me because it take a bunch of damage or does it still hold me uh like a bunch of damage <laughs> like eight, 80 something probably because oh. i'm guessing it has resistance to radiant based on metagaming <laughs> based on metagaming uh, well, your attacks did reduce earlier, it seemed like. So. Mm -hmm. I did. Um, 
I just rolled an athletics check to see if it held you. Uh, I can get it disadvantage, and it got over twenty to hold athletics check. Okay, is that contested or is that uh, just basically uh, basically a strength saving throw to hold you? Strength saving throw. Sure, you can do an athletics to athletics. You can see if you can pull yourself up. And okay. Off of it. Let's do contested. Why not? Gives you the ability to roll your saving throw. Again. Nope. No, I'm not you a, feel I'm not it a release, strong dwarf. Yeah, you feel it release just slightly as your spells explode and go off. Um, but as you try to push against it, it wraps just as tight back around. Roger that. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Athum, your turn. Excellent. Um, so, is my spiritual weapon within 20 feet? It is now. Excellent. It hasn't moved at all. Um, I'm gonna like pull my mace back as like I pull my spiritual weapon 20 feet closer to it. Yep. And swing with my spiritual weapon, mimicking my movement. Okay. And this has advantage, right? It yes. Against that advantage turn. Excellent. That will make that. Excellent. A 24. 24. Yep. 24 hits. For, uh, can't do math today. 14 points of radiant damage. Got it. And then. Don't you add your mod? Oh, do I have my. Yeah, no. And so, it, uh. Force damage. Nine, sorry, I keep saying radiant. Um, 19, because I had my modifier. 19 okay. points of force damage. Got it. I am now going to do a lot of rolling. Um, I'm going to. So. Flavor-wise, what I'm looking for is, like, bring my spiritual weapon closer to it and hit it in the back. And, like, as it takes that damage and it opens its, like, belly mouth, mm -hmm. I want to cast a Scorching Ray at 6th level and send 7, like, Scorching Ray blasts into its belly mouth. Okay. Sounds good. Um, yes. So <laughs> yes, you do that. <laughs> please, please do that. So I'm going to roll 7 times. Um... That one will be a 17. A 17. Doesn't hit. Does not hit. That one will be a 24. 24 does hit. So one hit. So I'll count how many I've rolled. You count how many yep, I hit. Gotcha. <laughs> I got you. I got you. 18. 18 does not hit. <laughs> oh yeah there we go so uh 27 27 hits uh fuck god i'm rolling a garbage 20 or 16 does not hit two more there we go that's better uh 21 no one hits. And uh, 28. 28 hits. Hey, we got over half. So four of them? Yeah. So that means I'm rolling uh, eight D6 fire damage. Can I borrow three D6, please? <laughs> and my axe. <laughs> <laughs> Two, five, ten, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, twenty, twenty-six fire damage. Ooh, twenty-six that's... fire damage. I was hoping for more, but I'll take it. Fifty-two, maybe. Hell yeah. I think Shit. so. Boom. We're burning it. How's this creature looking? It's not looking great. Okay. Okay. I mean, lots of pieces of it are blackened and charred. It's still wheeling back and forth, kind of like looking at trying to take keep eyes on all these newly birthed creatures to try to kind of direct them. Got it. Um, at the end of your turn, there are Thune. Mm -hmm. Takes a legendary action and tries to uh, wheel out and grapple you or hit you with a tentacle. Got it. Uh, that would be a total of 
34. Oh, yes, that hits. Or 34 damage or 34 to hit. 34 to hit. Yeah, that hits. That is 19 points of bludgeoning damage. You got it. And you and you feel that tentacle wrap around you, gets underneath and around your armor, and you feel your body be lifted up. Oh, I'm grappled now? Yeah. Okay. Got it. This thing's all grabby. It's very grabby. Uh, so yeah, that's two tentacles that are now grasping onto something. Um, as another creature rises up and starts to rush at the group, um, this one now rushing towards the newly shrunken bells. That is a 19 to hit. Fuck! That hits me. Oh, just so close. Just barely. Actually, uh, never mind. Yes, 19 to hit, so it just swings at you with its first claw right into the main, just, just your... Your chest. As it does, it does nine. Fourteen points of slashing damage. Okay. The second, on the other hand, is going to try... The second swipe is going to try to aim towards your respirator now. Now, this is one of the other creatures? The smaller creatures? Yep. Okay. That creature is going to try and slash at the item on your face, it has disadvantage on this attack as I'm calling a shot. Uh, that was a nat one. Sweet! Punch itself! Punch itself! Yeah. Uh, with a 17. Um, it just slashes open and you see its claw get stuck into some of the wreckage on the ground and it's now just stuck there trying to pull it out. <laughs> just looking at it quizzically. Um, at the end of this creature's turn, it's going to use two, finishing out the round of legendary actions to try to bite Arthim. Mm-hmm. Two shreds, you say. That is a 19 to hit, which meets your AC. If I'm not it saying. does. Um, is it too late for me to use Warding Flare to give a disadvantage before damage? Or do I have to call that before you roll? Um, When you are attacked by a creature within 30 feet of you, you can use your reaction to impose disadvantage. Oh, that's disadvantage, fine. please. Okay. Uh, that would still be 19. Okay. <laughs> fine. Sorry, man. As you see your, you feel your body lifted off the ground. You're pulled towards its lower mouth. The one you've been firing into, black smoke starts pouring out the the charred um, effect of your spell, but then you see its gnarled teeth crunch in around you. You take a total. 20 points of piercing uh. damage, and you feel the musculature in the creature's throat Wait, pull you. Is it 20? So, okay. 20. Got it. You feel it pull you inside of its mouth. You are now blinded and restrained. Okay. It's going to recharge. It does not. In this moment, now only one tentacle um, held, or grasping hold, anything. Hold the thing. Um, it takes that m opportunity and whips it back and tries to throw York. Okay. Yeah. Ain't much you can do about that. 
<laughs> uh, you see it whip back and try to <laughs> toss Yori. Feather fall, it just goes slow motion. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. That's oh, exactly shit. What I'm Sorry, literally what I'm gonna do. Sorry. Steal my thunder. <laughs> Sorry. I was just thinking how hilarious it, it tries to toss your egg back into the sea. Okay. Wet feathers. You go flying 160 feet back into the Ooh. sea. I would like to use. I assume you get bludgeoning damage when you collide with the sea. Oh, yeah. So I'm gonna cast feather. That fast, I'm gonna especially. Use my reaction to feather fall. Okay. So I just glide down. Do I glide down this turn, or does it take like a t- more time to, for me to actually collide with the water? Think of it like a uh, rock thrown from a giant. It would be in that same turn. You'd fly in the six seconds and land by the time you hit. So you could make your reaction now. Well, I, I want to. Yes, I would. I was hoping that I would have my turn before I hit the water. That was all I was seeing. Like. Your actual turn? Like my actual turn before no. I hit the water. Okay, cool. Well, I'm going to use Feather Fall so I don't collide with the water. And okay. Instead, just merely get wet. Yep. 160 feet out, you start to... Well, basically, 120 feet out, you start to fall. Okay. And as you do, you cast, you react with Feather Fall, and you begin to fall much slower. You find Purchase connecting with the water, slowly sinking into it as your spell... Uh, as your ability succeeds, and you now find yourself... Oh, man. Cold uh, and wet. 20. You find yourself 140 feet away from the party. Wait. No, uh, Wait. sorry, 120 feet away from the party. Yeah, to, sh- to the creature. To the creature, yeah. Yeah, okay. Which, you're all just around it. Right. So shore Wait. is... No. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, twenty feet from shore is the is where the the Free. docks are. Twenty feet from into dry land. Got it. And then one hundred and forty feet past that is where your land. Got it. So you are one hundred and forty feet away from the party. Okay. That is its first attack. Second attack. Um, it tries to swing at you. Flare in the air. Flare in the air. Uh, swings at you for a let's see for a total of 17 does not hit does not hit you a second claw swings out at you for a nat 1 does not hit what? (laughs) are you sure? it might hit itself though hey you don't know wouldn't call it before I rolled that is an 85 Okay. <laughs> this claw wheels down as it misses Flare midair and crashes into one of the creatures that was harrying uh, your party members and connects. It's <laughs> a lot of damage for these little things. Oh. Sixteen points of damage into the smaller spawn below it. The creature still stands, but just barely. Uh, finally, uh, two tentacles whip back out. Um, one towards Bells, the other towards uh, Wraith. Disadvantage on Wraith, not on Bells. Mm, I don't know why I'd have disadvantage now. So we're going to go for Wraith first. That is a total of 30 to hit. Sure. That hits. Wrong one, sorry. Wait, having, having been swallowed, I am blinded and restrained? Yes. Okay. 9, 10, 11, 19 points of damage. Bludgeoning. And you feel the tentacle wrap around you. As you feel your feet go out from under you. Bells. Uh, that is a 19. That hits. 
I passed my concentration check with Excellent. a 23. Uh, 12. So 20 points of bludgeoning damage as you feel the tentacle wrap around you as well. Woo! Taking some hits. Yup. Getting your bell rung. Ah. Hey! Is he... Is Bell still surrounded by the creatures, or does the tentacle pull him out of the melee of pulls creatures? Pulls it, basically pulls it, him up. Okay. Okay. But I'd also say that without it being, like, Bell's leaving combat. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was just wondering if it, if Bell's was going to get attacked by the things on the ground. No. Uh, no, he's, like, ten feet in the air. They can't reach that high. Got it. Got it. Um, bringing it to the creature's turn, who sees this whole situation and is unable to the last creature to rise actually and as this goes it rushes um it sees all this going down Cre- people are in the air the larger creature seems to turn its head quickly and as it does the creature runs off to follow any anyone left in the crowds so actually boop, I guess no longer there. as we sit now at the top of the round bells you saw our be swallowed Yorg fly. And you are grappled. Well, I will think back to many a long night and many an amazing conversation that I had with my good friend Elmo. He was a spinner of tales and a hilarious individual who could talk on end all day and all night. And just remembering him I think I'll just do him the honor of polymorphing again only this time into an adult bronze dragon they're great conversationalists (laughs) 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 and in doing so I turn into a huge fucking bronze dragon Uh, at that point I believe I can use my breath weapon because it's not a spell it is a spell effect what? Uh, they're, they're great for conversation. They love flies. Rock it out, man. Uh, and so, in turning into a bronze dragon, I will then use my lightning breath and breathe lightning on this motherfucker. Uh, which would be a DC 19 dex saving throw. He uses its second legendary resistance on that one. So, that would be 12 D10. <laughs> lot of d10s that is a significant amount of d10 <laughs> that's more than 10 d10s that's 10 <laughs> 19 20 21 30 37 and that is with five 37 i'm at 47 48 59, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, and that is 61, and then two more, an 8 and a 9, 61, so that is 80, 80, 80, 79, huh, 79, 79 79 half, DM, got it, so it's 20, that was a really good series of details, 39 if it's run, no, yeah, you're right, so yeah, this uh, all goes down. A moment later, Bells has changed once again into a giant form of this brilliant dragon that shines even in the low light. As the tentacle unwraps from its uh, body and the wings unfurl, a giant blast of lightning flies from its mouth towards the creature. Cool. So that is my... Uh, hasted action and I'm just gonna fly straight up in the air because I don't want to be hit by this thing right now okay so I'll take the reaction shot it's cool see does the lightning get rid of its reaction in any way sometimes mm-hmm. lightning shocks things into not having a reaction let's look up oh, I got it right here breath weapon uh, dragon exhales lightning 90 foot line 5 feet wide nope no, dragon oh. exhales repulsion energy in a 30 foot cone. Oh, it's just repulsion breath. That's different. Yeah, it doesn't do anything else. It just breathes lightning. Okay. So I will fly straight up out of range of this creature. 
Wait. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Is that? You're good. Did I do a thing? Nope. You did. Yes, you did all the things. How high are up are you flying? Um, I'll fly just thirty feet in the air. Okay. It rolled an 18 to hit you. Which does not hit my armor class. 19 plus 2. Ooh. That's a hasty dragon. Yeah, hasty dragon. <laughs> Holy shit. At the end of your turn, it's going to use two of its legendary actions and try to bite on Wraith. That all played out, right? Oh, That's yeah. Because okay, yeah, cool. you, are, you are still grappled. Uh, yeah. I've never been hasted before. I saw, I saw, so, I saw, I saw this advantage. I was like, yeah. I was like, yeah. you're hasted. I was like, when are you doing Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. That'd be a 20. That's not hit my, that does not beat my armor class. Does not. Holy shit. You are now, um, it whips your the tentacle around, and you now stand in front of its mouth as it tries to chomp down you're able to like block it and yep. utilize your shield to hold it off that is your turn oh it is my turn and yes. I'm grappled by this thing you are grappled uh I'm gonna look to a Uh, actually, I'm going to attack it. Okay. Three times. I am not flanking it with anyone, am I? No, I don't think so. All right. Uh, 18. 18 doesn't hit. 22. Hits. Nope. Uh, then I will bonus action Misty Step to the ground. Okay. You don't like a grapple? You are on the ground right in front of it. Uh, no, I'm going to Misty Step 30 feet back out, like behind its. Or okay. In well, sorry. Away from its face. Okay. And then I'm going to run another thirty feet. I'm gonna use my full movement and go another thirty feet. So I'm sixty feet away from it. Okay. Uh, uh, it is that's the end of my turn. It is going to utilize the creatures that were once Hounding Wraith, and all um, basically all six of them are going to take their action and charge at you. Okay. They're going to use the dash action. Okay. Which doubles their movement and meets you, but they're unable to do anything after that. Okay. So you're now surrounded by six of these um, these creatures. Got it. Flare. <clears throat> oh yeah, you're flying too. Yep. What's up? <laughs> uh, Flare is going to swoop back in and just try and use the momentum to hit this thing as hard as she can. Okay. Uh, we don't have an advantage anymore, right? Correct. Mm -mm. You do not. Is there... Would I be able to position myself to where I could possibly get flanking with uh, Bells? Bells is too high. Too high? Yeah, I'm okay. 30 feet up. That is cocked as all hell. 18 to hit. Misses. Natural 20. Woo! Hey! Uh, I'm also going to spend a key point to Stunning Strike. Okay. So that's going to be, oh God. So that's going to be 8, 12, uh, 17 points of damage. 
And uh, what's your DC on the Snipe Strike? 16. Okay. It makes it. Um, and then I am going to use... Uh, I'm going to spend another two key points to uh, use my bonus action to Burning Hands. Okay. So it's going to be a deck save. And what's your... Sorry, one more time on the... 16. 16? It doesn't make it. Uh, so that's going to be 14 points of fire damage. Okay. Uh, it roils and screams as you first take a, a giant crack into it with your fist and then fly back and just throw flames down upon it. Once again, more charred flesh. Anything else? Uh, nope. Ah, I should have picked a better dragon. <laughs> <It's> a fire, <laughs> duh. Yorick. Um, so how's this thing looking? It's hard to tell. Burned. <laughs> it's hard to tell from I'm how far back 140 you are. feet away, you said? Okay. Um, well... <clears throat> Yorg doesn't much like being uh, thrown, um, and he's just going to just like yell out, just do Arschloch, <laughs> do Schweinhund, ich will die Sieg dich zerstören, and is going to cast a fireball at him at eighth level, Ooh. Um, which has a hundred and fifty foot range. Holy shit! And I'm not going to hit any of my friends if I can avoid that. And <laughs> dexterity saving throw. Yep. I borrow uh, DC what? Uh, wait, see. does I get a bonus from this? What level are you casting it at? Eight. Eight. Jesus, how many is that? Uh, plus five. Eight plus, yeah, plus five, so 13 uh, D6. Have, yeah, can I have eight more dice? <laughs> uh, um, I just want to make sure that I don't have... You need like one more outside bonus. of mine. There you go. Uh, um... Yeah, cool. This might be the most dice we've rolled for one attack in this game. That's level, a lot. Level 15, baby. Here we go. Right. Ooh, a lot of sixes in there. <laughs> 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 Shit. One, two, three, four, four. That's what happens when you roll a bunch of dice. Yeah, yeah but there's is a lot. I, I'm counting oh, one. Oh, wow, that is a lot. Yeah, there's a, I'm <laughs> counting really one. There's like four or five of them. Oh, oh two really ones. Like six times before I feel like I'm... Um, sorry, actually, I can see. And before you call out the damage, it uses its final legendary <laughs> resistance yeah. to succeed okay. on that. Okay. Uh, that's 47 fire damage? Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. So, uh, so it's just doubled. Or it's, it's effectively it's just well, it's halved and it it's takes halved. the same, right? Well, it's halved at twenty three, and then it's doubled, so at forty six, so it loses one, one. Po point potency <laughs> Come from that. Is that enough pain to like vomit me up? Uh, nope. No. Boils you. Dang it. <laughs> so oh, that thing, kind of thing works. I know. I just tried. Hey, I get that. Mention it. Anything else, you I'm going to swim. Uh, wait. wait. <laughs> 15 feet. <laughs> 15 feet. Wait, what's the range of my little crowny do? Um, Crown diggity? I think it's pretty far. But not, I think it's 120. It's not far enough. No? Yeah. I'm going to move 15 feet. I'm going to swim 15 feet towards the shore. Okay. <laughs> Just doggy paddle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I move slow. I'm not built for swimming. No. I think... <laughs> You feel yourself just okay, sorry. wrapped by this creature's insides. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Unable to move or see. Yep. At the at the tips of your feet, which seemingly, as you but were pulled in, has sunk down farther into this creature, mm -hmm. you feel blistering cold. Okay. I'm just letting you know. All right. <laughs> 
Thanks. is a sensation that Arthur would be able to feel at this moment. Got it. Yeah. What you doing? I don't know. Well, um, <laughs> that's an honest answer. It really is. I've been debating. Um, I. I am going to cast a spell, is what I'm going to do. Got it. And I am going to cast... All right, I'm gonna go with my instinct. I'm gonna cast... So if I cast Flame Strike, yep. um, the point within range like can be above me, right? So if it's like a 40 foot cylinder, yeah. mm -hmm. it's not like hitting me, it doesn't have to be the ground, right? Mm -hmm. Cool, Flame Strike it is. I'm going to cast Flame Strike, uh, and it has to make a Dexterity saving throw. Okay. So basically you're casting it outside of the creature, down onto it. Yes, yes. Okay. A vertical column of Divine Fire. She could cast it on herself, technically. Yeah. If you want. That would hit everything that she is around her. Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, yeah. And then some. And then some. Next are you saying, please? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, please? DC? Uh, 17, I think. Let me double check. Se 17. 16. Rad. Okay. Here, so, I have some D6s, or, right? Well, no, I just need 46 uh, for each, so we'll do 46 fire damage first. Okay. Um, oh. That looks medium. That's uh, three ones. Oh, lame. So, eight. Eight okay. fire damage. Got it. And radiant damage. Uh, Better. four. God, that was really seven. Seven radiant damage. Right? Oh, no, no. Seven, eight. 11. 11. 11 radi or radiant damage, which okay. is count. So. 21. Yep. Still a decent amount of fire damage. I suppose. Uh, you all. I was expecting a lot more than that. On the outside of this creature, you all notice this just column of brilliant, radiant fire fall onto it. And pieces of it burn. The eye closes, and you see what is could be called the eyelid just starts to singe pieces of the eye are shown through as the skin burns away it screeches out as it does um i can still move my spiritual weapon right yeah an attack yeah mm, 27 it's you wouldn't even need to move it it hasn't moved at all. Well, either way, for uh, six force damage. Six force? Yep. Okay. You notice the last of the creatures that are not now herring Wraith um, starts to climb up the legs of this um, larger creature. Uh, it gets just to the top as it does. You see it using its claws as it goes, just like... And finally gets to the top, and it looks straight at you, Flare, and just launches itself towards you. Bring it. <clears throat> and give it disadvantage on its attacks. As it tries to slash you with two of its attacks. It's a natural one on the first one. Let's just, let's just go for that now, just so if it's like... Did you, oh, you stopped flying? Did you land on it? Oh, no, I'm still flying. Oh, okay. It climbed up to the very top of this creature oh, and it it launched off itself. of it to try to attack you. I see. It misses with that first one, completely swinging so wide. The second one misses as it fall. It basically just turns itself in air and seems to fall limply off to the ground. So, it's 3d6 
points of damage effectively from the... Yeah. Uh, 2d6. No, I'll give it 3d6, because it jumped. It takes 5 points of bludgeoning damage, and you just hear a sickening crack as it lands. Um, it still is writhing and moving, but it's... Looking hurt. It is looking hurt. Uh, bringing it to the creature's turn. Which, oh. At the end of the, sorry. The big creature's turn. The final legendary action of this round is going to try to swing at uh, Flare as well. Uh, because you flew 30 feet up. Yeah, I'm 30 feet above it. Yeah, you are too high it's going to wheel its upper and oddly curved spine around and try to hit you with a claw. It's cocked. That's 25 to hit. Yep. That's 14 points of slashing damage. Okay. Arthum, deep within its gullet, that burning cold sensation rises over you as you feel a wash of liquid and take 31 points Ooh. of cold damage. Ooh. Dang. <laughs> right. You seem very concerned. Getting there. <laughs> Leaning into concerned. Yeah, uh-huh. Don't lean it into tickles. Concerned. Um, now having uh, basically not much around it, the creature is going to kind of wheel about towards you, Flare, being the only thing close to it uh-huh. at the moment, and just haul off and take two large claw attacks straight at you. Okay. That's 30... 30. How far away are you? 150 feet? I am 125 now. Yes. From the creature. Yeah. Got it. That's 12 points for the first one. 16 for the second. It's 28 total. 28 total. Uh, and it starts to use its movement to try to charge towards Matoya. Er, Wraith. Wow, first time. Yay. Hey! Joe Elf guy. <laughs> recharge. Does not recharge. It moves 40 feet towards you? It moves 40 feet towards you. Okay. So it's now uh, 20, 20 feet, feet away, away from, from everyone. And, uh, yeah, my friends. My newfound. Your newfound friends. My click. Flare, if you wish, you would be able to make an attack of opportunity. It was close enough, and you were in melee. Oh, yeah, then definitely. Yeah. Ghost puncher, punch it. It's ghost, ghost puncher, punching ghosts. 14. Okay. As the creature charges towards Wraith, the scream emanates out as it rushes forward. Oh, wait. Uh, Did you ever use that? That's what I was just, that that's I gave what you? I was just remembering. We won't 12. catch up with next. D12? Yeah. We will not catch up next with you guys. We will oh, see if this hits. One more thing. Do one more it. thing. Yeah, do, right. do, do it. it. Do it, man. Do it. I don't know how to. 21. Boom! Yeah. Or 22. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> nice. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. We I sang have... you a free song and everything. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> we got to hit this creature. Okay. Uh, let's see. Is there anything I can do? Stunning strike. Do you have Sentinel? Stunning strike. What's that? Do you have Sentinel? Yeah. Oh. Doesn't maybe get the move if you hit it. Uh, do I want to put anything into this? 
Yeah, fuck it. I'm gonna go stunning strike. Yeah. yeah. Pump up the jam. Uh, that's seven damage, and then con save. Eighteen. Makes it. Ah, I had to try. Had to try. It's worthwhile. I did have to. Mm -hmm. The ah. speed is reduced to zero. Right? Because of sentinel. Because of sentinel, yeah. So instead of rushing so towards Wraith, you catch it right in the back. You catch it right in the back of that bulbous head on top, and it you catch its attention, and it wheels around, skidding just for a few feet, and turns towards you, taking its attention off of Wraith. Got it. Right? We top the round with Wraith. The creature. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. We top the round. That's me. The creature facing towards Flare. Your cleric swallowed, and this fight not yet over. We'll see y'all next time. See y'all next time. Woo! For the third time. Hey, Aaron here. Thank you for listening to us. We hope you've enjoyed yourself. And I just want to take this moment to suggest you head out to theswordcast.com where you can find all sorts of extras like maps and images of the various things happening. Also there you can find links to our social media pages. Uh, we've got Twitch, Patreon as well. And it's a really cool place. And I hope that you have a lovely rest of your day. Bye.